Time for the meeting has arrived. This is the meeting of the House Ways and Means Committee. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt y'all's conversation. <laughs> Sounded like it was pretty good to me, but, uh, <laughs> well, let's start back over. Uh, this is a meeting of the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, we have before us, uh, House Bill 2EX. Uh, the chair is going to waive the requirement for it being, a, uh, assigned to subcommittee, uh, and two subcommittee meetings. The full committee will be acting today, uh, to vote on this bill. Uh, and we have the governor's floor leader, uh, Representative Collins, sir. Um, House Bill 2EX simply is an affirmation of the governor's uh, move to suspend the gas tax uh, starting in July 1, the increase in July 1. This is based off, and keep it very simple, during a May price spike of four weeks, which they work off four-week average, it spiked up, causing an automatic increase in that tax back in May, which was real close. And the, the gas tax, lag, the look-back lags about 30 days behind anyway. What happened was is there's an automatic look at it in January 1 and July 1. This was close enough to July 1 where the governor looked at it, and because of the numbers they were going to have to use, it was going to add another increase onto what had just happened in May. Given the situation in the current climate, and especially with economic climate, it was decided that we needed to suspend that. Um, and also another reason was because the gas prices looked like they were going back down. Although there was a spike up May, June, they have started back down, and we're seeing it back down to more May levels. What the governor said was is let's keep it at the May levels. That seems to be where the, the number needs to be pushed, and what we're doing is saying is an affirmation of that suspension, and then we'll be in, which the governor has the ability to do, this will be to write off the $40 million, the liability issue, and that's all we're here for to do today, Mr. Chairman. Any members have a question for the author of the bill? Seeing none. Well, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Representative Teague, do you have a question? Yes. You say it's $40 million that you're talking about cutting in taxes. Is this correct? That it is. It's, it's, it's the liability that would have been collected if this had not been suspended. With the present state budget, we can cut $40 million? This is not an adding up. This is for the what was determined at that point is we're taking this off based on the fact that when you look at the, where the averages should have been off of May if there hadn't been that price increase, that basically the spike because of the gas prices, the gas prices are back to where they would have been in May when the when the it basically what happened was the price kicked in a, a few weeks early, and so what we're doing is maintaining it where it should be, which is fair to the taxpayer of Georgia's, and then we're looking forward to in that uh, regard. Okay. How much money are we talking about per customer? Point oh one six is what was suspended per gallon. Yeah. Thank you. So one cent. Which that was on top of already where the increase had to go. It went up in May, a two cent a gallon increase based on the spike in May. So it went up already uh, in May, which averaged out uh, where we needed, you know, where the average of gas and the gas prices are at this point. Well, Representative Sims. I guess you may have answered my question, but I, I want to make sure I understand exactly what you're saying. You're saying it's a write-off of something that, that was not collected. Is that what you're saying? That is correct. Anticipated collection. Anticipated so collection. not yeah. collected. Yeah. You're not refunding anything. No, we're not. It's an antici it was the anticipated collection from July 1 to December 30. And, he, and so when he suspended it, he would not have collected it anyway. That is correct. You're just exempting that. Part. That is correct. What the governor can do is suspend it. He can't write off that liability, and that's why we're here with this bill. Oh, okay. uh, Representative Roberts. I was just going to clarify something as, as well for Representative Teague. This, this is not money that's general treasury money, just motor fuel tax dollars. So it really doesn't affect the overall budget as currently exists. It would just be motor fuel tax dollars that would have been going into to G dot. I apologize, I didn't make that clear. Uh, thank you, Representative Knight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I, I, I too want to echo what was said. I know we've we've dealt with this issue in the past, and uh, certainly appreciate uh, Governor Deal stepping up and uh, and doing this uh, with the economy like it is and the tough times that our citizens are already seeing. And certainly, we all know that the uh, 
fuel cost is 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 a big part of what uh, uh, everyday citizens are, are in in the cost of their budget. So we appreciate what he's done here, and I for one uh, appreciate it, Mr. Chairman. At an appropriate time, I'd like to make a motion. Reverend well, Knight, I see no further questions from members of the committee. You are now recognized for the purpose of making a motion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to make a mo motion uh, that we pass House Bill 2EX, uh, LC number 343122. Motion made and seconded. All of those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Bill passes. Thank, Thank you, you for Mr. your attendance.